Today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, we're going to go over this Palmetto State Armory Dagger Compact, which is about the same size in reference to the Glock 19. Let's get this video started. Road Hard Roadhouse is sponsored by Finley River Towing in Ozark and Branson, Missouri. They'll tow anything from Springfield all the way down to Harrison, Arkansas. Speedy's Industrial Coatings. They do media blasting, powder coating, all sorts of stuff. Big or small, they do it all at Speedy's in Ozark, Missouri. Forbes Tire in Paragold, Arkansas. They'll take care of big tires, small tires, any tires you need. Tractor tires, anything you need, call Forbes Tire. And JS Off-Road Addict. They do passer cars, trucks, jeeps, buggies, UTVs, ATVs, small engines. They'll do anything you got. They're doing my LS swap, doing all sorts of custom stuff to my Jeep. Upgrades, recoveries. If you're at S'more and you're a breakdown out there, give them a call. JS Off-Road Addict. And one more thing. If you're heading out to S'more next year from... March all the way out to uh, Thanksgiving of 2024. Give JS Off-Road a call if you need to rent anything to drive out there on the park. They've got Jeeps and side-by-sides to rent for S'more. There's been a ton of people that are really excited about the Dagger series from the Palmetto State Armory. Now, they have been all over the place. And as if you see, I did a micro video not too long ago and it is fabulous now this is my video on the dagger compact which is like i said before it's about the glock 19. Um, i bought this in two separate pieces i bought the lower and then i bought the uh the slide here's the uh slide and uh, the reference on the slide is whoop the reference on the slide is that. It's got a lot of cuts on the top. It's got the RMR. It's got the, the co-witness sights that are taller so you can see them through your red dot which I would highly recommend if you, especially if you are not used to red dots having a really high sights so you can see them through your red dot to help you along if you've never used a red dot before and with the threaded barrel it also comes with the thread the thread protector right here as well so how do i like it i really like it now i will say this and i've said this in the other video um i cannot stand the trigger but for the price that you're paying i can replace this trigger now this is um if you haven't heard the dagger series is basically the series where glock's gen 3 patent ran out on their gen 3 weapons palmetto state armory took off with it and did the gen 3 glock but then they added a bunch of stuff that people have been complaining on on the glock for a long time so they added a lot of different stuff and one i will tell you right now is this grip this grip i don't know they did the same grip on the micro it is awesome the grip is like sandpaper it's really tiny it's really grippy i, I said in the video before i said in my micro video before that I was having issues with a Glock Gen 5 where the grip wasn't helping when it was extremely cold or it was extremely hot. My hands were too cold. I couldn't feel the grip very well. I was afraid I was going to drop it. This is on a competition shooting out in the middle of the woods at about you know uh, 26 degrees or so. Um, I was afraid I was going to drop it. Then in the afternoon, it got like in the six, you know, lower 60s and everything, and we were running around and everything, and I was worried I was going to drop it because my hands are sweaty. So this grip is really nice. In fact, on my competition pistol, I went to something crazy, crazy, so I could actually grip onto it. That's how bad I despise the Gen 5 
grip. And the Glock Gen 5 grip is actually better than some of the others. So I really, 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 really like this grip. That's the number one thing I like about these daggers is the grip. Number two, right up in here, love that. Love that they, they uh, indented it there. Um, you're not going to get that kind of indention on a lot of the Glocks unless you have to cut it out like what I have done here on this. Actually, I had somebody do that for me because I was, didn't want to mess it up. So they've already included that right there. So that's really good. Now, Glocks have been known. They didn't, people didn't like these little finger grooves and everything. And I'm okay with the finger grooves. I'm never really worried about it. But they only put one on here um, for you. It's um, also the grip swell. The grip is a little bit bigger around in this area. So you can actually, it fits your hand a lot better. Whereas on the Glock, it was kind of clunky. Um, not really very well. They've had to add back straps to them so you could uh, fit your hand right. Um, whereas this one has the hand swell in here already. You can see it just a little bit. So you don't have to worry about the, um, the back straps or whatever. It's also got a little bit bigger tang than the factory Glock. The factory Glock has a back strap that attaches about right here that comes out a little bit further back here. Whereas this one's already got it, so you didn't have to add it. I like that. Um, another thing is, you know, this isn't the greatest looking magazine release. It's really kind of small, but it's tall enough to where you don't have to add an extra magazine release to when you're shooting on the move, you can go ahead and hit this. A lot of factory Glock ones, I was having to move my hand off and spin it around here to where my hand is in the complete wrong area in order to hit my magazine release on the run. Whereas this one has got it already. It's got a really tall one. Um, it's, you know, it doesn't look that great, but hey, it works, and that's what we really need on that anyway. Um, as far as taking apart um, the dagger, these are a little bit further pronounced out here, so where they're easier to take down. The Glock's really, um, like almost in the body itself. Now, since I bought this separate, it did not come with a magazine. I did have some P-Mags. And I have fired about 50 rounds through this weapon. And the P-Mag itself, um, I've had issues with the P-Mags with my Glocks. But I did not have any issues with it with the dagger. I wanted to make sure that it locked back after the final round out of my magazine. The P-Mag did great with that. Um, I, um, I have not bought a complete um, dagger or dagger compact from PSA, so I, I haven't got any magazines. But I'm guessing, from what I understand anyway, um, the PMAG is what comes with them. So I did not have any issues with the dagger with the PMAGs. And I did um, have a regular full-size magazine. I do not have the small magazines. I actually like kind of how it looks right there. Things I like about the dagger, grip, magazine release, that these slides come all put together. You can get them, you can buy them where the slide is stripped. You can buy them with the, si the slide complete. You can buy them with the slide complete like I did, where it included everything that you see here. And you can buy the lowers. You can put it to whatever color you want. If you want a green upper and a uh, tan or whatever they call this uh, lower, then you're great. If you want uh, backwards and forwards, you can get them in all different colors. Black, green, tan, uh, gray, 
I think I've even seen them in other colors, um, like turquoise and maybe pink, I think. Um, but maybe that's a special run. I don't know exactly. But you can get them in almost anything, which is really nice if you want to put together a weapon. Um, I like the fact that they came with the uh, co-witness sights. I wasn't able to find any that had the, uh, the glow-in-the-dark um, sights on it. I'm sure there are, but there's so many different combinations you can get on these dagger slides and, and everything that, you know, I probably missed it. Um, I think I bought this on one of their email sales, so uh, that's probably how I went with this. I have had extremely good luck with this fitting in all of my um, holsters. Now, this right here is probably one of the best holsters you can buy. Now, this here is one of the ones I use all the time, every single day. It is a crossbreed. Love crossbreed stuff. Fits in. The trigger guard is a almost the same as the Glock, so it has no issues whatsoever fitting in at all. I really like this crossbreed holster. It fits in there, no issues at all. We'll use this. This is a, another one that fits the Glock 19, 17, all that type of stuff. It locks in. So, There's that. So as far as holster, you're not going to have any issues with the dagger compact. I do not have the dagger full size. Um, it's probably going to be on the way soon. So, but this with the dagger compact, no issues whatsoever with it at all fitting in Glock holsters. The difference between the dagger compact and the dagger micro is pretty significant now this is a copy basically of the glock 43x it's pretty dang short really nice with both these palmetto state armory daggers you're able to buy it in almost any configuration that you want there's so many options for the dagger compact and the regular dagger now as far as the micro goes but they've got the slide in almost any configuration that you want. I have not seen the threaded barrel yet on this, but I have seen where they have added a slide that's a little bit longer that, that has a comp on it. As far as the things that I dislike about the dagger, now this is just me and they may be improving this as I speak so I don't know for fact I did buy this about uh, four or five months ago they may have uh, fixed some things on it I do not know but I will say that the trigger the trigger I dislike empty weapon a lot of I just dislike the whole entire trigger just just don't like it now it did get a little bit better when I oiled everything just like in the last video with the micro I thought the trigger was really nice a lot better than this uh, compacts trigger but when I oiled it it even got better so that's that's one thing you might be able to look forward to I have not I've only fired 50 rounds out of this so I can't tell you for a fact that the trigger is going to get any better. Like the next thing that I wish that they put on the dagger that they did not put on it and they put it on the dagger micro is they put the same stippling or whatever this uh, type of grip is. They put it underneath here on the front of the trigger guard as well. And they put it on several different areas like right here, right here here and here to give you a, a review of that but they did not put it here here on the dagger compact um, as well as not here but they did put a little indention there um, for your finger 
So if you're left or right handed, they do have that little indention there. Now they do have a rail on it. I put uh, lights and stuff on it, which uh, I'll show you here. So you can put regular lights and all that type of stuff on here. The slide cuts on the front and rear is something that uh, Glock didn't start doing, I think, until Gen 5. So this is something that has been uh, complained about from Glock owners for uh, forever. Um, they got it right with the micro as well. What am I going to change about this? Really? Just the trigger. That's all I'm going to do with this weapon here. I bought it just for a extra weapon and uh, all I need is that trigger to be fixed a little bit and I'm good to go. Nothing else needs to be fixed on this. I probably will put a red dot on it, but other than that, it's good to go. Like the dagger series from Palmetto State Army. Can't be happier with them. I will say that I did not get this from Palmetto State Armory. I did pay for this off of their uh, sales on their uh, emails. So watch their sales on their emails. They have always some great stuff for full-size rifles, um, to the daggers, all the stuff that they got. Um, I got a really good deal on this. If you have any questions regarding the Dagger Compact or the Dagger Micro, you might want to check out my video on the Dagger Micro because it's pretty rare so far because they keep on selling out all the time. But as far as the Dagger Compact, let me know down in the comments. Thank you all for liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. And as always, if you're rider hard, don't put it away wet. There'll be some more videos on the Dagger Compact as I get some more rounds through it. But so far with 50 rounds, I have had no issues with it whatsoever. I'm liking the products from PSA.